Hey guys, how are you? Dave here. It is May 23rd, 2008, and this is a video that has been requested by my fellow viewers and subscribers for months now. Ever since I got my Mac Pro for Christmas, um, people have been asking me to do a new tour of my room, and because of college and stuff, I've just been busy, but now that I'm home from college for the summer, I have some free time, which is good, so yeah. Uh, just as a heads up, this video is not here to brag about the stuff I have. This video's purpose is to share with everyone my workspace, my computers, my electronics, my gaming consoles, and all that good stuff. So, just a minor disclaimer because I know I'm going to get some hate, but as Alfred would say, whatever. Enjoy! Alright, just as a warning, I will be talking a lot in this video, so brace yourself. Let's start out with this Apple sticker up here that's been up there for probably over a year now. It's just kind of chilling there. But new down here, thanks to my friend Alfred, youtube.com slash awasi, check them out. I have a nice classic rainbow apple sticker. Very sweet. And some monkey right there. Yeah, it's childish, but he's been there for years and I don't like the change tradition. Anyway, um, blank wall stuff. Don't worry about that stuff. Um, bobbleheads. Got Yoshi, Bowser, and Luigi. If I hit him right. Uh, Mario was here. But my cat, Smokey, he's probably right outside the door. Yep, there he is. Smokey. Come on, Smokey. You can come in. All right, you're taking too long. But Smokey um, knocked him over one night, and his head came off, and I got to fix him. Um, okay, so here are some Master Chief figurines, or Spartan, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're just kind of chilling there. Waiting until Halo Wars comes out. Nothing that interesting, but um, yeah, I'm sorry about the dust. I really didn't feel like dusting my speaker, but call me lazy. I don't care. Um, here we have some weird kind of red thing that I've had for years. I just never put them away. Honestly, I don't use them, but it is freaky if you just look at them for a second. <sighs> I don't know. I have a Ferrari up here. Again, been here for years. Just don't feel like taking it down. Here's my Wii sensor bar, doing its thing. Clock that I've had for years, but I found again in my um, drawer when I came home, so I put it up here so I can see the time easier. Two cars, a uh, Viper and a uh, Corvette. Nice. An eye dog. He's all yellow from the sun, but that's okay. I don't. I don't even use him. Like he's, he just sits there looking cool. Um, some DVDs that my friend Alfred sent me. I'll have to view them later. Um, and then here's my game collection. My biggest collection is definitely for the Wii. Um, I will be making a new video, I mean a video, about my video game collection because I have yet to do that. I did it on um, Ustream real quick, but that doesn't really count as video. So yeah. And my huge PS3 collection, in sarcasm here, is down there. Um, I just have Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty 3. So my speaker system is an Onkyo um, right down here if you want to get the same one, HT-R510. Um, this thing's pretty old by now, but I love this thing. This nasty stuff on the stickers. Still there from my last, from my first video. Sorry, somebody's texting me. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. It does 6.1, but I use 5.1. And these speakers I have, my dad actually gave me because he got new speakers for himself downstairs. Oh, I just realized this is in 4x3. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, anyway, these are speakers that my dad gave me. So, they're 200 watts, but my AV receiver can only handle 100 watts each speaker. So, I'm not really getting the most out of that as I can, but they sound pretty good. Here's my center channel speaker. Um, and then, back there, my rear channel speaker with Crash sitting on top, just relaxing. So, going down to my TV... I have a Sony, I don't even know the model. Is it even on here? It's probably on the back somewhere. Well, it's a Sony Trinitron, but I don't know the exact model number. I believe it's 30 inch, maybe 32, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, it is the classic HDTVs, the tube. So it is really thick in the back. But um, this thing is beautiful for Xbox 360 and HD gaming and HD movies, I love it. Um, I, don't, I don't really have any complaints about it. It's a great TV. Moving down, let's talk about gaming. Has my knee cracks. Here's my Wii condom. I don't use it, but you should always use protection no matter what. Um, 
I just don't use this one because I like the real feel of the Wiimote. I don't know how to explain it. Wii Zapper. Got this for Christmas if you saw my Christmas 2007 video. Um, I've only played Link's Crossroad Training a little bit, but from what I saw, it is cool. My classic controller, I don't really use this thing, but um, I'm sure I will eventually. My Wave Bird thing. It says VG on here because that was my old screen name back then. It was VGamer32. And um, I used to take this thing to console slash LAN parties and we used to play Super Smash Bros. Melee. But I can't find, find my Wave Bird now. I have no idea where it is. And another Wii condom. Not really used, but yeah. Uh, two Xbox 360 controllers. Xbox 360 Premium. It's a 20 gigabyte version. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory there. My DirecTV DVR R10. It's TiVo, which is sweet. Uh, my parents had this in their bedroom, but then they got a new one for their room. So they gave it to me, which I'm really fortunate for. Um, two 360 headsets. I have two because one came with my Xbox Live Vision camera, which is cool. So when this one does break, and I say when because I know it will because it's so flimsy, then I'll switch over to that one on the back. My PS3, look at the dust. I know I don't use it because there are no good PS3 games out there for me. I know the haters are going to jump on me right there, but it's the truth, guys. Sony has a lot of work to do, but hopefully that will change in the fall. Um, the Wii. I love my Wii. The Wii and 360 are my favorite consoles right now. The Wii is a great console. I have two Wiimotes, none shock back here. Some batteries right here for when I had to swap them. Yes, I know, I have to get a charging station, but, yeah. Oh, by the way, PS3, I just have one, um, six-axis controller. Yeah, um, where should we go next? Let's go up here. Here is another collection that I haven't touched for years. They just kind of sit here, but that's okay. I'm a crazy taxi car, taxi thing. I know, again, I apologize for the dust. Look at this. This is gross. I just don't ever go up there. Um, and some Mario Kart figures, kind of just chilling. Again, I don't even use them, they just kind of sit there. Down here, Mario's kind of hiding behind a subwoofer, there's Sonic. Two DDR dance pads, some old presentation thing for a class years ago, or whatever that was. A phone, oh, and there's my subwoofer, which I totally forgot to mention before. I believe it's 150 watts? Yeah, 150 watts. I love my sound system, it's great. But moving over to the most exciting part of the room, at least in my opinion, where everything happens, is my computer center, aka my lab, hence my new setup with all the computers I have. It just looks pretty freaking sweet. Um, here's my desk. A lot of people ask where I got this desk. I actually got it from Ikea, but sadly they don't sell it anymore. But if you can find it from like a third party distributor or vendor or whatever you want to call them, um, it's called the Jerker. I know, it's a weird name, J-E-R-K-E-R. -E -E it's the Ikea Jerker, I don't know why it's called that, but um, yeah. So, my Apple keyboard, it's a slim aluminum version. I have the wired one because the Bluetooth one is kind of weird in my opinion. I don't know what Apple is thinking. Well, I know they want portability, but I think they should offer two Bluetooth versions. Um, then over here we have a Mario figurine. Shout out to my friend Debbie, thank you very much for sending me this. This is really cool. Um, the Be Back Soon thing was kind of a temporary message for my streamers, I mean for my viewers on my live stream. Um, but I just kind of kept it there because I liked how it looked. And I, and I can put the camera on there if I want to sometimes. Just to give my viewers a heads up. My sound system, um, Logitech, I don't even know the model number now to be honest. But the point is, I love this thing. I've had it for a couple to a few years now or something like that and I really have no complaints about it well except for the wired remote I kinda wish it was wireless but other than that I love this thing it's great um, yeah laser pod thank you very much Alfred this thing is kick ass seriously this thing puts all some good light onto my curtains right here and the ceiling but I'm thinking about moving it over to here so I can see it more while I go to sleep because there's just something cool about staring at lights as you fall asleep Laugh at me if you will, but it's the truth. So yeah, laser pod. Great little gadget right there. Um, this thing is awesome. It's a Halo figurine. 
with two Spartans. Spartans, right? Not Sparta. Sparta is 300, right? Yeah, Spartans um, doing their thing. The date seat is empty, but that's okay. Um, I consider that me in the front and Alfred in the back, backing me up with the gunner. It focuses. There we go. So yeah, um, just some things. Part of my workspace keeps me motivated throughout the day. This thing is my baby right here. I love this thing. I got it for Christmas. It's a, it's a uh, 23 inch Apple Cinema display. Um, yes, they have not been updated in quite a while, which is why it's a little thick nowadays. But I still love it. Um, this thing is the brightest display I've ever used. I used to think my Dell was really bright. But this thing is much brighter. And I really like the touch controls. For instance, if I hold down decrease brightness, you can see it going down. Or I can put it up. And there's also a power button I can shut off on the side. Or you can use that to shut off your computer. But I mind to shut off the display. Because my Mac Pro is literally like never off. And ne um, neither is my PowerBook. And again, well not again, uh, quick plug, that is my website you just saw, thecreativeone.tv. Um, if you are viewing this video right now, then I most likely am streaming live at the moment at thecreativeone.tv. Um, I don't stream 24-7 like Chris Prillo does, but I do stream every single day of my life except for this Sunday coming up because we're going to have a party. But um, other than that, I stream almost every day of my life. For a good amount of the day, I usually start between 3 and 5 Eastern Time, and I usually get off around 1 o'clock a.m., 1.30. Um, it depends what I do, or what I'm going to do the next day, if, it, if I have to wake up early. But yes, yeah, stop by thecreativeone.tv. You guys can watch me um, stream my life live. Sometimes I'm interesting, sometimes I'm busy working on Photoshop and Dreamweaver stuff, but um, or just doing whatever. But for the most part, I do keep an eye on the chat room. And I do like to interact with my viewers. So, yeah. Quick plug right there. TheCreativeOne.tv So yes, that is my website. I'm actually in the process of redesigning right now. Um, I am going to do a What's My Doc video. That's another highly requested video. But here's a preview. I have email to check, as you can see. There's a quick preview right there. And yes, my doc's pretty big. Um, it's 2.42 p.m. right now, in case you're interested. So yeah, that's my 23-inch um, cinema display. And then I have my Dell 20 inch 2005 FPW. I also love this thing. This thing has a lot of inputs on the back. Oh, Twitter. Oh, can't wait to see your new setup. Look at that. Um, a shout out to Sean Zagik. Thank you for the reply via Twitter. By the way, Twitterific for the Mac is a great application for Twitter. I definitely um, recommend checking it out. Twitter is so much fun. And Twitterific just makes it more fun. So, yeah, this is my Dell 2005 FPW. I got this when I was a PC user, but I then put it on my Mac since I sold my PC a while ago. And as you can see, I'm using dual displays. I love this. This is my main workspace right here. And then this is where I keep the chat room up literally 24-7. The chat room's always up. Twitterific is always up and ADM is up for the most part. And then I usually have my stream window going right here so I can preview myself. So yeah, cool stuff. Um, the 2005 FPW is great because it has uh, DVI input. I don't know if you can see them all down here, but it has DVI input, VGA input, dual USB ports down here, um, composite in, and USB ports on the side down there. You can barely see them, but yeah, they're there. This thing is great for a college because I hook up my Xbox 360 via VGA. Um, so yeah, I almost missed this. This is my Logitech desktop mic. Um, this thing works wonders. It's great. It was really cheap. I got it probably for no more than $20 shipped on eBay. Just just search Logitech desktop mic and you'll see what I mean. So yeah, um, this is what I use for my stream. You can't usually see it in the stream, but that's the whole point. You don't usually want to see the microphone. It's just more, you know, professional like that, more clean. Um, don't worry, I am getting to the, the good part. Just some random pictures I have to hang up still that my friend slash roommate Billy gave me. Shout out to you, Billy, if you're watching this, but I don't know if you are, because I know you don't watch my tech videos. Um, so, yeah, thank you for those pictures. Some NFPA journal thing that my dad and I, our uh, picture was in there from the convention. Uh, my iPhone, 8 gigabyte. Shout out to Alfred. Checking my widget. <laughs> um, your bum. My bum. Uh, some pencils, pens, or whatever. Yes, I did warn you guys, this video is going to be long, and I'm not even done yet, so... 
get some coffee or popcorn, whatever you want to eat. Here is my Mac Pro. This thing is my baby. Um, it's quad core, 2.66 gigahertz Intel Xeon with 3 gigabytes of RAM, but I'll soon be upgrading to 5 gigs because I can see myself almost using up all 3 gigs between Photoshop and Dreamweaver and whatever, well, whatever else I'm doing. This thing has a DVD writer in it, but this slot, this one is empty. Um, yes, this thing is a beautiful system. You probably can't even hear it on the camera because it's so freaking quiet. I love it. So yes, that thing, um, that thing drives everything. The uh, web stream, Photoshop work, web design, photography, whatever else I'm doing. Um, yes, it gets quite the workout sometimes. Oh, uh, my power book bag, my old power book bag. That's kind of just used for storage now. Um, this is a gift, um, Remote 49 LE, my keyboard. I don't play that often right now, but I will be, um, receiving music lessons this summer, which is sweet. I missed something over here, didn't I? Oh yeah, duh. My fridge. Yes, you're probably wondering, David, why the hell, yes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Best snack during Halo 3, in my opinion. Um, yeah. I have a fridge because my sister, um, is at college. Well, is, is in college, but not for the summer. So she took this from her dorm and gave it to me for the summer, which is sweet. Um, there's usually Mountain Dew stocked in here, but I have a Mountain Dew um, addiction problem, and I have Jack them all. But I'm pretty soon gonna restock her for the weekend, most likely. So yeah, it's really sweet. I love having Mountain Dew right under me at all times, and it's just cool. And that's just some Jake's doghouse thing that my parents put on there a while ago. Just never took it off. Yet this tour's still going strong. Um, okay, now over to here. I really, really like this corner. I don't really use it that much, but it's just kind of there for decoration. And just to balance everything, because there's my Mac Pro, my my displays, then the PowerBook, and then in the back is the Amex G3. Like, if you go back here, and I'm not bragging, I just love how it looks. It seriously looks like a mini lab. It's just so cool. Anyway, here's a coffee maker that I just put in my room. This is from my college apartment, but um, I've yet to even use it in here. I just kind of keep it there for decoration. But I will use it eventually. Um, a mug. I usually have two here. The other one's downstairs because I just washed it or whatever. There's usually sugar in here, but I have to fill it up. I just cleaned it from school. And again, I, I well, not again, but um, I do go to Stockton College of New Jersey, in case any, um, anybody's wondering. Which is where a lot of this stuff is from, like the coffee maker, my shelf, and my lamp. But I'll get more on that later. So yes, here's my 60GB um, 5th generation iPod. My iPod Shuffle, one gigabyte, two external hard drives. This one's used for backup, I believe. Yeah, backup and whatever else I want to use it for. And this is for Time Machine. They're both Western Digitals. I love them. Uh, my first Western Digital model did crap out of me while in college. I was pretty mad. But I had all my stuff, all my Mac Pros it is, and my Amex G3, and my other system in there that I'll show off soon. So, yes, here's my Amex G3. 350 megahertz G3. Obviously, it's a G3. I just said that. 128 megs of RAM and a 128 gig hard drive, I believe. So, or 120 gig hard drive, I think. Either one. I don't really use this thing, but it's just used for backup. Here, if it's plugged in, I'll turn it off for you guys. It's pretty loud, and plus the sound bounces off my bed down here, so it makes it even more um, vibrant. Not vibrant, it's colors, but whatever. It's a stress ball that Alfred sent me. Thank you very much, Alfred. <laughs> awesome. It just kind of sits here for now, but I will be using it. Yep, there you go. Oh, by the way, I don't have much RAM in that thing because I don't really use it. It's just for backup and whatever. It just kind of sits there. It looks cool. Here's my Odd World Munches Odyssey can that I have, I mean, that I bought from eBay years ago. There's a surprise inside, but I never opened it, so let's open it live on camera right now. Just kidding, guys. Um, I don't see myself ever opening this, except for like years from now. Um, some characters. I figured her name, but that's definitely Cloud on the back. Um, my Xbox Live Vision camera, which is used for um, Ustream, so it's there for most of the time. And then you can kind of get a good view of my desk from here. And I have a picture-on-picture -picture view of my eyesight here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to talk about my eyesight. This is my Apple eyesight camera. Apple no longer officially sells it on their website but you can find it on eBay or whatever. But yeah, there's the iMac, still booting. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, now, to my shelf center. I really like this center. Um, it's not used that much, but it's just kind of there for storage. 
There's my Canon EOS Digital Rebel XT. Love that thing, although I have to use it more because I've been concentrating on video a lot. There's my camera bag. Um, I actually used that for my black and white photography class at college, but now that it's here, it kind of just sits there. But I will be using it. Some random books, college, I mean, of college, um, about Apple and stuff. Um, my camera bag for the camera I'm using right now. Some random magazines, my wallet that I have to move my stuff to into a new wallet because it's really beat up. More Apple stickers. Um, yeah, what's down here? These are the new tapes I just bought off eBay. It's just some change thing I keep changing. Um, these are little things I can add on for my laser pod. And just some boxes of storage from stuff in college. Some remotes. This is a um, a die, a dice, die. I guess you would say die, because it's singular. Um, guess real quick. I say two. Okay, four. I always lose for the most part. So yeah, let me sit on my bed, get more comfortable. This is my power book. It sits on a. Ah, oh, I can't think of that thing now, guys. The model number. I'm in the model. The um, the name of this product. But if I think of it, I will tell you. Uh, my power book just kind of sits here. Um, I do I do use it on a daily basis, surprisingly. Um, I use it to play music at nighttime as I get to bed, and I still have a bunch of files in here that I had to get over to my Mac Pro. So this thing still is used every day. It's great. It's a um, PowerBook G4, 1.5 gigahertz, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 100 gigabytes, 7200 RPM hard drive, which I installed myself because the stock one crapped out of me a couple years ago. But I'm kind of glad it did because this new hard drive is much faster and boot up time is much faster and overall better system performance. But yeah, um, video wise, it has ATA, ATA, ATI, Radeon 9700 9, Mobility, um, something like that. ATI mobil Mobility Radeon 9700, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, um, with only 64 megs of VRAM, so it's not very fast when it comes to video. But this thing did get me far, and it got me where I am today via YouTube. Um, so, yeah, very cool. I love this thing. And if you're wondering where I got that wallpaper, um, go to interfacelift.com. Again, interfacelift.com. They have a lot of great wallpapers there. Desk lamp. I used at college. Now it kind of just sits here because I have better lighting in my room here than I do at college. My camera battery charger for the camera I'm using right now. This is Bob. Um, he does temperature. Um, the clock with all the time, the date, alarm, and yeah, all that good stuff. And he's like a weevil wobble thing, so you kind of just do this, and he'll always straighten out no matter what. Okay, we don't have time to just wait for him, but yeah. No matter, um, basically, no matter what, he just comes up right every time. Oh, and I got him at Brookstone. So, if you go to brookstone.com, just search for the name Bob, B-O-B, -B, and you'll find him, and, and he does come in um, assorted colors. So, that's my little power book station. Anyway, um, here's my bed. Yeah, it's an old bed. I've had it for a while, which is why it's kind of small, which is why my pillow's over here. I rest my feet on here. But, um, yeah, my bed, nothing special there. Yeah, it's a SpongeBob blanket just sitting there. <laughs> Yeah, I like Spongebob, get over it. It's Crash Bandicoot, I literally have like 20 of those, but I recently brought him in. Well, actually my mom did. For my cat Smokey to play around with him. Uh, I'm Ninja Gaiden Wall Scroll, which I love. I got this thing for free when I ordered Ninja Gaiden for the first Xbox off ebgames.com, and it came with it. It's so cool, and it actually doesn't feel cheap. It feels like nylon or whatever the material is, but very cool. It has been there for years, and I don't see myself ever throwing it away or giving it away. I will move it over to my new apartment when I move out one day. Um, designing for real life. This is from Gloucester County College. Um, this is a thing we all designed together. This is mine. Looks kind of freaky. I can do much better today. But yeah, um, shout out to my friend Aubrey. There's her poster. Shout out to Jamie up there. Shout out to Megan. You got two. And there's Jesse, you guys have seen him in my videos, I'm sure you recognize him in that picture. Yeah, that's a better angle. And, yeah, I think that's all the people who watch my videos from there. So yeah, um, very cool. Smokey kind of just sits there. That note, 
doesn't really need to be explained. Uh, this is an Apple poster that I still have to hang up, but I just don't want to hang it up. I um, want to get a nice frame from AC Moore or whatever, and then hang it up. It's an I'm actually 3 poster. Here's my lamp from school. All the bulbs work now, Billy, if you're watching. You lamp killer. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Um, but yeah, this thing would break really easy at college, but it was always funny when it happened. So now it's in here. I don't even use it really. It just kind of sits there. Pac-Man dice. Woo, cool stuff. Tripod. My camera is usually sitting on here when I do my videos where it's on a tripod. And I usually put it like right about here when I'm streaming my Halo 3 games live on the creative onetv Another shameless plug. I don't care. Here's my Xbox travel pack. Um, all my games, my, my Wii games and 360 games are still in here. I have to put them back in the cases. That was just for college. Oh, get this over here since I'm going to open it. In a closet. Beanbag, had it for years. Yeah, whatever. Oh, shout out to Debbie again. Thank you very much. My Christmas Mario Galaxy stocking. Um, I know it's not Christmas anymore, but as Alfred would say, whatever. I like it. Um, it's cool. It just sits there in my hat that you see me wear. My closet's kind of a mess right now. I I'm not, I'm not going to explain nearly that much stuff. But, yeah. I have a lot of stuff just sitting in here, a lot of crap. But I do have a Power Mac G4 with a 500 gig hard drive that I upgraded um, with a classic Apple Studio display, the CRT one, the big old fat kind. Um, and two MacBook boxes, my dad and sister's boxes. I just like to collect Apple boxes. Again, it's a geek thing. Um, and a lot of old PlayStation games, my original iPhone bag, the box I got it in. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to explain all this stuff, but. If you do want to see my Power Mac G4 upgrade video, just search my videos, Power Mac G4 upgrade, and you'll see what I did. So yeah, that's used for backup as well. That holds all my iMovie files, since movie files to my video editors, as you know, takes take up a lot of space. And we're back to the first corner of the room. Actually, I totally forgot to mention, this is my Guitar Hero 3 controller. I freaking love Guitar Hero. Yes, it is the wireless version. I mean, the the wired version from Guitar Hero 2, I believe. But I actually prefer it that way because, um, honestly, I don't trust music games with wireless peripherals. It's just, music games are all about accuracy, right? So, yeah, I'm like glad. And plus, the wire is really long, so it's not a big deal. Oh, and I totally skipped this. This is an HP printer um, that I used at college. I know I'm saying that a lot in this video, but it's the truth. I use this at college, but I don't need it over the summer, so right now, it kind of just sits here. And this is my school bag back here with my books. Is that it? Let's take a quick look around the room. Um, a Stewie thing I didn't really talk about. It just kind of looks good sitting there. Um, I think that is it. So there you go. I can't believe I finally did it because people have been asking me for a while now. And I've been busy, so... But I'm glad it's finally done, and I'm glad to finally share my room with you guys. As you can see, my room is totally different than it was a year ago. Um, and in case you're wondering, I did move stuff around based around my website, like based around streaming, because I really want a good angle, and I want better lighting, so the natural light from the window really helps throughout the day. And it's just cool working in front of the window. And plus, I'm closer to my TV now, so that's cool. Um, hi guys. Um, I'm sorry about the length of this video, but I warned you, so you had plenty of time to click that little red button or X or whatever, depending upon what OS you're using. So, um, this video will at least be 20 minutes, I think, but oh well, it's geek stuff, it's good stuff. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching, and also don't forget to check out my website at thecreativeone.tv. I hope to see you guys there, and have a great summer. Thanks.